In this video, we're going to be talking about medial tendinopathy, pain on the inside of the elbow. Golfers call it golfer's elbow, climbers call it climber's elbow. It's all the same thing, you messed up your elbow and now it hurts. Let's talk about it. Golfer's elbow or climber's elbow, what is it? Golfer's elbow or climber's elbow is traditionally called medial epicondylitis, an itis referring to the inflammation of the tendon. However, recent research has shown that it is not actually due to inflammation but an overload of the tendon, causing tendinopathy. The patient would normally complain of pain on the inside of the elbow and pain is reproduced in wrist flexion, gripping and pronation which is turning palm down. Pain and stiffness is usually present in the morning while movement of the joint throughout the day makes it feel less and less stiff. The cause is usually overload of the wrist flexor tendons. There are six wrist flexor muscles that originate from a common wrist flexor tendon. These muscles help you grip, pronate your wrist and flex your elbow, wrist and fingers. This tendon gets painful when you have overloaded it. Overloading means you have applied more force on the tendon than it is capable of handling. So if you are a rock climber, you might have held one too many rocks and if you are a golfer, you might have hit one too many balls. That's what she said. <clears throat> to figure out how you might have overloaded your tendon, let's look at the tendinopathy continuum. This is your normal tendon. Everyone's normal tendon is different. It is what you are used to. For a normal tendon, you give it a load of force. Gradually, it adapts to it and gets stronger. However, if you put too much load on the tendon too quickly, it goes through the different stages of tendinopathy. First stage is the reactive tendon, where the tendon thickens and stiffens up, trying to cope with the new excessive load that you have put on it. If the excessive load on the tendon is not reduced or modified, then the tendon goes into the second stage, tendon disrepair. Here the tendon gets slightly inflamed, stiff, and painful. This can be reversed and healed by modifying the load that is put on the tendon. To get it back to the normal tendon, you need to reduce the load accordingly. It might be to reduce intensity or duration of the activity that is causing the pain. But not fully stop, modify. Your tendon will also adapt to a reduction in load. If you give your tendon a drastic decrease in load, it goes into a shielded tendon stage. For example, you take a long break for whatever reason and then when you get back into the activity, you go straight back into your normal routine. Your tendon is not used to that amount of load anymore and goes straight to tendinopathy. Again, this is reversed by a modified or gradual increase or decrease in load. Another possibility for your pain is that you might have done something out of the ordinary. Maybe you tried a different move. Maybe you tried a different climbing style or golf swing technique. Either way, it boils down to you gave your tendon too much load too quickly and now we need to modify that load. Treatment would be, you guessed it, a modification of load. First of all, if you're waking up with stiffness and pain, I want you to ice it and give the muscle bulk a massage to loosen it up a little. Secondly, at every meal, I want you to give your tendon some load. Push your palm against the bottom of the table with your elbow flexed. Then slowly apply pressure on the tip of your fingers, flexing your wrist very slowly. The first few days will just be a light press on the bottom of the table. and subsequent days, you can increase pressure as appropriate. But the key is to do this outside of pain. If you start to feel pain, stop and decrease the load or pressure. And thirdly is to use a pull-up bar or a hangboard or anything similar. I want you to just hold it. For the first two days, it will just be a slight bending of your legs to increase load on your wrist flexors. And subsequent days, you can add more and more, but again, outside of pain. Summary. First, ice and massage for morning stiffness. Second, at every meal, apply a light load on your wrist flexors on the bottom of the table. And third, 
hold a bar or a hangboard with a slight load on your grip strength. Intensity of each exercise will vary depending on the load that your tendon can handle. Start as light as possible, then increase as the days go by. Once you start to feel pain, you know you need less load. Try it each day, push it to the limit, and just before you feel pain. I would also recommend recording how much load you applied on your tendon that day. To measure load, you can use a scale of 1 to 10. So record down, for example, on day 1 I applied a pressure of 1 out of 10 and it didn't hurt. Tomorrow I can try a pressure of 2 out of 10. But just because 1 out of 10 didn't hurt, don't jump straight to 3 out of 10. Do it gradually, you take hit. That's it for now. I hope that this video taught you more about your tendons and what it needs to recover. That you get back to whatever it is that you love. Fun fact, goats don't even have hands and they climb higher than humans free solo. They get to about 13,000 feet on close to vertical walls. What did Alex Ono do, like 3,000 free solo? Pfft. Don't worry about it.